Thank you for your time. I'm financial specialist Jonathan Curl, and today we are going to discuss the rule of 72 and how we can work for you or against you. The rule of 72 is also known as the banker's rule. Now, the rule of 72 is a rough estimate. It's not exact. It is a rough estimate of the compound interest formula that dictates how long it takes for your money to double in any investment or how long it will take for your money or your currency to lose its purchasing power due to inflation. And I have another presentation that I am preparing where we will go deeper into the impact of purchasing power um, as a result of inflation. To give you some historical facts, in 1494, Luca Pacioli, an Italian mathematician, was the first to mention the importance of the rule of 72 in his book entitled Summary of Arithmetic, Geometry, Proportions, and Proportionality. Pacioli wrote that you could use the number 72 to, to deduce the number of years it would take for your money to double. And uh, almost 100 years later, the rule was written. So to be clear, uh, Pacioli was not the quote unquote inventor of the rule of 72. Pacioli was the first to mention it uh, in literature, if you will. And after that, then it was written down officially as a rule of thumb to use to calculate for how long it will take for your currency or your money to double in any given investment. Now, the rule of 72. So how you apply the rule of 72 is you take the number 72 and you divide it by the annual rate of return. Now, what I wanna say uh, is about the rule of 72 and why it is an estimate is because the compound interest formula is, a, is far more uh, exact. And so the rule of 72 is really uh, good when being applied to rates of return that are between 6% and 10%. If it's under 6%, then it tends to overestimate. If it's over 10%, then it tends to underestimate how long it will take for that currency to double uh, in that in investment. So I just wanted to share that with you as a footnote. Again, it's not an exact science, it's a rough estimate. Uh, two, uh, most people aren't able to you, uh, calculate the compound interest or use the compound interest formula in their heads or without a, uh, uh, a science or mathematical uh, calculator, compound interest calculator. So the rule of, of 72 is something that you could use on any regular uh, calculator or you could you know, math out real quickly on some scratch paper. So here's an, uh, a chart example of the doubling effect. So in this example, you see we have here uh, APR of 2%, 4%, 6%, and 10%. And so at 2%, it would take 36 years for your currency to double. At 4%, 18 years. At 6%, 12 years. And at 10%, 7.2 years. So as you see on the chart here, as the uh, annual rate of return increases, oh, sorry about that, then the uh, number of years begins to decrease in terms of the doubling effect or the compound interest effect. So this is why when you are looking for uh, an investment, whether it be a mutual fund or a business, you know, something where you're going to clearly calculate or you need to know how long it's going to take before your money doubles in this investment, then you use this calculator or this mathematical formula to calculate how long it will take for your investment to double. And then you weigh that in your overall calculations to determine if that particular investment is suitable for you. Now, let's break this down in terms of numbers so you can see this here. So we have an example, 3%, 3%, 6 6%, 12%. These are three individuals who all have $10,000 to invest. So you see at 3%, it will take 24 years before that person's $10,000 uh, will double. So if you had a 3% investment of $10,000,
then you're looking at 24 years before you will see $20,000. And again, this is uh, this chart here is used as an illustration because there are some other factors that are not taken into, into account, such as market fluctuations. But again, this uh, chart is designed strictly as an illustration, it's for illustration pur uh, purposes. So it will take then uh, 48 years before that money uh, doubles again, total, or before you get another doubling of that 20,000 into 40,000 at 48 years. So it would take 48 years for your investment of $10,000 to grow to $40,000. Now here at 6%, you see we have 12 years, your, your currency would double to 20,000, 24 years, 40,000, 36 years, 80,000, 48 years, 160,000. At 12%, every six years, your investment is doubling. So had uh, you invested in an in a, a, a instrument that had 12% return, well, over 48 years, you would be approximately $2.5 million. This is what the banks do. This is the rule uh, that the banks use. And so in this case here, 3%, let's say they invested at 12%, well, they're giving you $40,000 of the $2.5 million that they made. The average US savings interest rate, according to Bank Rate, uh, article published on November 30th, 2021, the average savings interest rate is 0.06%. 72 divided by 0.06 equals 1,200 years. I don't know about you, but I don't have 1,200 years of life. And this is why sophisticated people invest uh, their currency uh, into a uh, instrument that is suitable for them so they can get a better uh, return keeping your currency in a savings account, as you see clearly, this is not the way. It, uh, savings, account, savings accounts are instruments to be used uh, for such things. I mean, if, if, if you need a short-term uh, liquidity account for emergency funds, or let's just say you're just saving because you want to buy a television, you know, for, so for something short-term, okay. But if you have a certain amount of dollars, well, it may not be in your best interest to keep all of that in a savings account because now you are losing purchasing power over time. So at 0.06%, your currency just isn't growing fast enough at a rate where you can truly get real benefit from it and where, you're, and where you are maintaining purchasing power. And again, I have another presentation uh, that I'm working on, and I will be releasing that soon, where we go into a little more detail on purchasing power and the impact of inflation uh, on that. So again, uh, how can you win the game if you don't know, know the rules? And uh, uh, just to cover again real briefly, you have to think about how many doubling periods do you have in your life? And depending upon where your current, uh, what your current age is, that will give you an idea of how many doubling periods do you have left before you expire? So when we look at uh, the, or taking the rule of 72 into account, then at 3%, well, depending upon what your situation is, that may or may not be the best instrument for you to invest in. But once again, this rule is a rule, uh, it serves as a rough estimate and this is an illustration of what that looks like. So you can uh, speak with your financial professional about what investments are most appropriate for you. This is how the rule of 72 works against you. Using credit card uh, purchases as an example, as an illustration. As of January, 2022, the average credit card interest rate uh, was 20.47% according to the balance. And so when we take the number 72 and we divide it by 
we come out with 3.5 years. This means that every 3.5 years, the credit card company is doubling their money off of you or you are paying them double when you don't pay your balances off within the 30 day period of time. So for those of you who, uh, you know, you carry, carry balances over long periods of time, then keep in mind that the longer you hold that balance, the more money the or the um, the more currency that you are spending with that credit card company. So you know if you buy you know, something, an item, you know you buy yourself a pair of shoes, hundred dollar pair of boots, etc. If you don't pay that bill uh, in thirty days time, and you keep that bill going for three years, then you've bought those boots twice. Even though you only have one pair of boots, you've paid for it twice. <laughs> so this is why uh, or how the rule of 72 works against you and why we like to educate people on the rule of 72. So you get to use the rule of 72 to help you to determine how long your money uh, will take to double in any given investment where it's working for you and the rule of 72 works against you in scenarios such as this where you make credit card uh, purchases or you have a loan of some sort and every so many years based upon what the interest rate is on that loan that will determine how many times that uh, um, your the, the creditor is doubling their money off of you. So that is the conclusion of our presentation today. Uh, if you found value in what you learned in today's lesson, like, subscribe, comment, and share our channel. Thank you for your time. We are complete.